Hello everyone and welcome back to Ori Studios. I am Inchuga and in today's tutorial we are going to do a continuation of the December package. We'll be taking a look at how to design a food flyer in some quick and easy steps and I would like you to follow along as we journey on the December package. Let's jump in. Okay, so because the design is about pizza, I chose to give the design some wooden feel. One thing you must learn to do is to always put your files in groups. So you learn to group everything you do. So you learn to group, put your background designs in a group. You learn to put your texts in a group. If there are some key informations that are different from the main information, you put them in a group. And they are a way to help you easily track your work as you go along the design. So at this point, as you get your pizza on board, you want to give it some drop-down shadow. Let it have a realistic look. The drop-down shadow helps your design by giving it some realistic look. Um, if, if you don't have a shadow, shadows have a way of making things look real. Without shadows, like you can see now, it looks flat, it looks lifeless. So by just adding a little drop-down shadow and you, you are good to go. It looks it looks good already, even if you've not added text to it. Drop down shadow alone, communicate some information, it gives it some character, it gives it some vibe. To make the text blend with the environment, I choose to give the text a similar texture. To the background. Apply blend mode to make that to make it look more realistic. Soft light works in this case for me. Now I chose to use the pen tool to give the text a 3D kind of shadow drop, and that that also adds to the character. You you can choose to do that. You can choose to let, just leave it as a drop down shadow you can choose to whichever works better for you but in my case I felt giving it a 3d drop shadow looks much better okay I think we can follow the process from here on Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new here, and share with other creators. You can also use the burn and dot tool to give your pizza some more character. 
just like having it look quite burnt in the oven, giving it that brownish look, I feel it, it looks better that way. But if you don't want to, you can leave it. But I feel it looks better when it has the brownish look. So at this point, it is good if you give your, your flyer, your design, a good presentation. You want to present it nicely before the client. So you want to do a mock-up for the flyer. And if you want to learn more about how to do mock-ups, simple mock-ups, attracting mock-ups with simple flyer designs, leave a comment and I will come up with a good tutorial, step-by-step -step approach to how to, on how to do uh, a mock-up. This is how far we've come. I think it looks good. There's more that can be done to it. So I challenge you out there, pick this design, try and make it better, and submit it for review. We will look at it and we'll give you a shout out in our next video. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new here, comment, like, and share our video, and we'll bring you great content. Stay blessed. Okay, so there we go. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond. Have a good time.